Alrighty boys, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to let you guys know how you can clone an Elgato HD60 Pro or an HD60 to be the frame rate that matches your monitor output. Now normally Elgato will only show you 60 frames per second if you do not clone it to match your actual graphics card output. Now this is an updated version because you can no longer do this through Windows itself. So if that's what you've done before, you're going to have to change it around and use your NVIDIA settings because it reset it in Windows. So it is no longer above 60 frames per second. Now you need to do it from either your NVIDIA settings or your AMD settings. I don't use AMD graphics cards. So this is a guide using the NVIDIA GPU, but it should be very similar if you have an amd graphics card as well now a few quick notes before we get into the guide you are going to need a good hdmi cable that actually supports a frame rate higher than 60 hertz better known as fps or this is not going to end up working for you so you're going to need to invest a little bit more money into getting a couple hdmi cables since you're going to need two of them one for the input in the elgato and then the second for the output of the elgato now i will also put an image up at the end of the video for your convenience if the video goes too quickly for you now as always if this helps you it would mean a lot to me if you could please remember to support the video with a like leave a comment down below and tell some friends or family members about the channel if you enjoy the content so let's hop into it to start off you're going to need to right click somewhere on your desktop you're going to need to click on the nvidia control panel this will open up the nvidia control panel and then on the left sidebar you're going to have to click on set up multiple displays and in the select displays you want to use the box that you where you see your monitor and then the one called elgato now in the second box below you're going to right click on the primary display marked with a big one and then you're going to hover over clone with and then select display 2 which should be your elgato if it's not display 2 just click on the one that is your elgato now after this you're going to have to click apply at the bottom of the control panel and your screen may go black and flash a little bit but that's normal it's just your graphics card updating and the box will come up asking you to keep the changes and then you just end up choosing yes now on the left hand sidebar you're gonna have to click on adjust desktop size and position and then click on the main monitor at the top and under scaling you just choose no scaling and set the scaling to your graphics card or gpu if it's not already selected and then at the bottom you need to make sure that the resolution is set to 1080p and the refresh rate is set to 144 hertz 120 hertz whatever it is that you're trying to you know put out as a frame rate on your computer in the elgato and then after this you're going to click on the elgato monitor and set it to no scaling perform scaling on the gpu just like you just barely did and then below that you just set the resolution to 1080p and the refresh rate to 60 hertz yes i realize it's 60 hertz but we're gonna change everything to up that in a sick in a second here and then on the on the left sidebar once again click on change resolution and then click on your main monitor at the top and in the resolution scroll box, you just scroll down and under PC, select 1080p. You will also see a refresh rate box. Click on that and select the appropriate refresh rate for your monitor, either 144 hertz, 120 hertz, whatever it is that you're trying to do. And then at the top, click on the Elgato monitor, the resolution and refresh rate options should be grayed out and it should say 
144 hertz 120 hertz whatever it is if everything is grayed out and it's set to the refresh rate that you wanted that means that you did everything correctly and then after that you just simply click apply and your screen may flash once again don't worry about that just make sure to choose yes to apply the settings and then you're done you just close the nvidia control panel and open up the elgato game capture hd software and then after a few moments you should see your monitor in the elgato game capture preview and then that's basically it you're done with everything so like i said i will throw an image up on the screen if that went too quickly for you so i hope you guys enjoyed the video remember to support it with a like if you did subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace